afternoon and welcome to day 14 of May Vlogs. Um, I've not got around to recording anything today because it's been a day and a half already. Um, I did the food shopping this morning which is always a bit of a nightmare anyway and super stressful because nobody follows any of the social distancing rules and they don't follow the one-way systems in the supermarkets and it drives me slightly crazy. <laughs> um, and then um, after I had a massive massive meltdown about doing maths work um, Usually he loves maths and it's stuff he loves, but he just obviously wasn't in the mood for it today. So, um, yeah, that kind of took over quite a lot of our morning and he's just been delicate ever since. So it has been a day of treading gently and treading carefully and trying not to upset him and finding ways around all his stress. <laughs> but anyway... One thing I really need to do is go through my knitting boxes. Um, downstairs we have a Calax unit in the lounge and I've got two cubby holes which are my knitting boxes. So I've got two Calax boxes like these ones um, which contain various knitting projects and stuff like that. I then have a wicker basket that Tom bought me for Christmas, this one here which contains all of my active knitting projects. And what I thought I would do is I thought I would quickly, or attempt it quickly and not take half an hour over it, um, run through everything in here. Um, I won't go through all the projects individually um, because a lot of them you will have seen or you'll be seeing on the podcast when I record that anyway. Um, so I won't go into specifics with the projects, certainly not the ones that I'm working on regularly and that you're likely to see. Um, but yeah, I just thought that would be fun and something to record. <laughs> um, apologies for the really boring background. I am sat in front of um, our wardrobe, which has sliding doors, but it's all really boring. So what is it in my regular projects? Um, so living in this basket at the moment, I've got um, Arthur's squares for his big crochet blanket. This, this big one that I'm working on for him. Um, living in a lovely dodgy bag from Ali of Little Drops of Wonderful with her lovely little pin on there. You are a little drop of wonderful. Um, so that is definitely an active project at the moment. Um, in this one I've got my campsite cardi which is seeing a decent amount of progress. I'll pop that one out quickly. I'm still on the raglan increases but there's a fair chunk there. Um, so that's good. This is a lovely bag from um, Gem of the Little Grey Girl, one of her luxury drawstrings. I'd highly recommend them. I love this bag. Um, and then what else have we got in here? I moved a couple of bits around. So living in this bag here, um, which is from a company called Naughty Knitting Sacks in um, America. And um, I know that there's a lot of children watching this podcast, so I won't flash the inside, but her bags are quite amusing because on the outside, you've got a very, very normal fabric. And on the inside is usually something a little bit rude. Um, in this case, it's bunnies doing what bunnies do best. Um, so living in here is my Verso hat, um, which is coming along, actually. I'm worried it's going to be really, really big. Um, I don't know. I don't... I've still got a whole repeat of this to do and then the crown decreases. But I'm sure it'll be fine. Trust the pattern. Trust the pattern. Um, but yeah, that's coming along. And then I've also got um, my sock nest socks, which you've definitely been seeing on the podcast. They are living in this lovely little grey girl bag. Um, they have both had the heels done, so I just need to work my way down the foot of those. And I've also got a new cast on um, as well. I cast on a vertices unite shawl i shared the colors i think on the vlog a vlog the other day um and i have actually cast it on i've not done a lot as you can see um because i literally cast it on that evening and it was late and i was tired so i've not done masses but it started um so this is definitely another active rip whip and something that i really want to work on um and then the bags just got a few other boxes just got a few other little bits and pieces I've been keeping this little note from Laura at the Lonely Knitter um, or Crafter's Barn um, because it's it's plantable. It's got seeds in it and I really need to plant it out sometime. 
and then I've got scissors I've got my stitch marker tin and then just a little pouch um, my mum sent me this pouch um, and it's just got some hand cream and a tape measure and stuff in there so my useful little things that I'm working on now box um, and then this is where I'm really not sure what is in what this box now let's get this the right way around oh I don't actually know now this box over here is supposed to be actual projects like knitting projects normal knitting projects um that's my cozy memories blanket so that lives out as well and then this box has got loads of stuff in it so let's have a little look and see what's in here can i put no i can't put it down there without knocking you over living in this bag which i really need to steal back because um it's the size i need but living in this bag is actually tom's knitting project i'm sure he won't mind me showing you um, he is working on a flax light for Arthur. Um, he's doing really, really well with it as well. Um, yeah, he started learning to knit just before Christmas. Well, just sort of November time, I think. Um, he knit himself a hat and then he's knit a couple of hats and a cowl. And now he's working on a jumper for Arthur because his goal is to knit himself a jumper. Um, so, yeah, no, it's coming on really, really well. Um, so that's that one. What else have we got? Oh, yeah, I've got this one. Again, I've not done anything on this one. Um, I think I've just fallen out of love with it a little bit because I'm not 100% sure about the colours. Um, this is my... Um, this is my... What's it called? Boundaries Blanket by... Um, Louise Tilbrook um so it's like lots of squares and I've only knit three of the 12 squares um so yeah that I I need to decide if I'm going to finish that or if I'm gonna I don't know the squares are quite nice to do when I do do them and actually the finished blanket would be quite nice I just need to it's a let's let's call this a low pressure project it's not going to need to be done anytime soon so it doesn't really matter um but it's in the right box so that's fine uh, then I've got my yarn for my campsite cardi. Um, that's just all the spare balls of yarn. Really, that could actually live upstairs with the rest of my yarn stash, couldn't it? So let's put that up there. This is definitely a project. This is my little... Um, this is my Find Your Own Direction scarf, um, which is like a scrappy scarf. Um, so that's definitely a project. It's just not a project that I work on regularly, so... It's right to live in that box. Then there's still a few things in here. Um, right, there's the rest of the yarn for the jumper that Tom is knitting. That can stay in there for him. What else is living in here? Oh, yarn for a project that I've not cast on. I caked this up. So this is um, yarn. This is another one of the Naughty Knitting Sack bags that I've got. This is yarn... Um, from Debbie of Down Sheepy Lane, um, which I caked up for the Zhu, is it the Zhu shawl? I don't know how to pronounce it. This one here, um, by Therese of Brixton Pearl. Um, and I keep meaning to cast this on at some point and I just haven't got round to casting it on. So at some point that should really become a new cast on, shouldn't it? Um, I probably should have cast that on before the vertices unite, but oh well. Um, and then what else have I got in here? Ah, my cross stitch is also living in here, except it's all just falling out of the bag. Um, and this is the cross stitch that I'm working on at the moment. Home is where the bra is not. Oh, I've just popped it out the hoop. I really need a better way of containing my um, cross stitch. It, these hoops drive me slightly insane. Um, so maybe I need to have a little look at finding something a bit better than that. Um, and again, that's not far off. I've only got a little section over here and that one will be done. More hours in the day needed. Um, yeah, so that's not too bad, actually. That's mostly the right things in there, apart from a few bits of yarn that shouldn't be in there, really. Um, and then this box is supposed to contain... Um, it's supposed to contain like blankets, 
At the moment, it contains yarn for a project, another project that I haven't cast on yet. Um, this is Serenity. This is one of my newer colourways. And I'm going to cast on some fingerless mitts with that. So that can go in the other box. Then I've got my box um, of minis and squares for my Battenberg blanket. Um, so that's fine. Still contemplating turning that into a cushion. Not sure yet. This is my needle cut storage. Let me share that with you actually. Eek, got stuck. I really, I need, a probably need a better system, but um, Tom bought me this case for my birthday. Um, hopefully it says inside who it's by. Yes, it does. Um, it's all falling apart a little bit. Um, here we go. So it's like this. Um, the company is um, Quincy Pie, I think it was, or Quince Pie. There we go. Um, and it's a great case. I just kind of overflow it slightly. Um, so that's the concept. And it's got two layers. So you can slot your needles in. Um, and then it's got like a little wooden needle gauge in there as well. Um, so it is very, very handy. But I do find that the needles have a tendency of popping out, um, especially the smaller ones. Um, so I kind of do need a better system, really. But it works for now. Just tidy that up. Um, and then, what else have I got in here? Then I've got, oh yeah, this bag. Ah, maybe I could salvage this bag, actually. I don't think I'm actively working on this project at all. So this, living in here, I started a Cozy Memories blanket with shop colourways. So these are all colourways that existed or exist in the shop. Um, but I've kind of gone off it now that I've started my proper Cozy Memories blanket. Um, yeah. I don't know, maybe at some point I'll come back to this and turn this into a proper cosy memories blanket. Um, and I did the same with um, a little crochet one as well. I started a little crochet hexagon blanket. Um, so this again, these are things that I might come back to at some point, um, but I could probably salvage this bag. I've just found an airhead in there. We don't get these in the UK. Um, my mum and dad went to America and they bought me back. They bought me back some airheads because I absolutely love these. Um, they are one of my favourite American sweets. And yeah, you can't get them in the UK. So I think I'm going to take this out and I'm going to salvage this project bag because I could really use a bigger project bag this kind of size for my Vertices Unite. Um, then we have a tin of minis, which you've seen. Um, and there's a couple of other project bags in here and I'm not sure what's in them. This bag here has got... Ah, right. This bag here has got the next minis for Arthur's Blanket in. Um, so that's the November minis for Arthur's Blanket. Um, then I've got this bag here which contains um, all of my cotton and stuff for knitting dishcloths. I really want to knit some little washcloths, um, like some smaller ones that I could use for my face because I really like washing my face with the bigger flush, bigger ones that I've knit. And in fact, see right behind you is um, all our clean laundry that I've not put away yet. And conveniently, there's one of these. This one has actually come undone slightly in the middle, but it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, I really want to knit some more of these, but some smaller ones. So maybe kind of quarter of the size or a third of the size. Um, because I really like washing my face with them. That's a clean one that we're using. <laughs> um, so yeah, I could do with finding some time to do that as well at some point. Um, but they conveniently live in there. And then the final kind of project that's in here, apart from a few little bits and pieces that aren't yarn related... Um, is living in this Christmas stocking from Craft House Magic. And this is all of my leftovers from um, the Spectrum Fibres Advent Calendar. Um, in fact, this one here. There we go. Um, so it's all my leftovers from that. So my plan is to turn this into a garland for Christmas. I'm going to crochet little stars out of each colourway and then string them all together to create um, 
a garland that I can hang up at Christmas. I haven't started it yet, but I've popped the minis in there safe so that I know that they're all together and that's what I'm doing with them. Anyway, I've been rabbiting on now, showing you all of this for about 15 minutes. Um, so that's probably going to be the extent of today's vlog. Apologies for that. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed me sharing all of the projects and everything like that anyway. Um, but yeah, hopefully tomorrow will be a better day and we can get a little bit more back to with back to back back to back to the daily stuff as to what's actually going on on a daily basis around here but it's been a tough week so far so yeah slightly different video again today anyway i will see you all tomorrow bye <laughs>